In this screencast, what we're going to be uh, discussing is the tape measure tool. Um, I want to take and make a replica of this box. I want to show you step by step how to do that. So I'll be using the dimension tool so I can see what size this box is. And then over in this area, we'll be making a dr new drawing of it. The first thing I'm going to do is get the size of the base of this box. That way I know how big to draw the base. This is telling me it's two and a half by four and a half. So now I'm going to grab my square tool, I draw a base, and I'm going to draw it two and a half. And I can type in this two different ways. I can type in two space one slash two for two and a half comma. And the other dimension is four and a half, so four space one slash two and you can see that in the bottom corner there and hit enter and that gives me this same size rectangle that I have over there the other way I could have done that is by uh, making a transfer from fractions to decimals I could have typed in 2.5 comma 4.5 and it would have been the same thing um, probably a little bit easier to type in the next dimension that I'm going to look at would be how tall this entire box is so I'll put a dimension on this back here and that tells me it's two inches tall so I'm going to pull this box up two inches throw some dimensions on there to make sure that I'm that everything's coming out right yeah, I highly suggest you do this for every step that you do the next thing I'm going to do is make some lines that tell me where these marks are on the top and I need to know how far they are from the end. So I'm just going to make a couple different dimensions here. And this is letting me know a whole bunch of information. Ooh. There. I don't need the last one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my tape measure tool. This is a great tool. What it does is or how you use it is you um, slide it along a line until you find the midpoint and you'll see it turns blue and now I'm going to start to drag a line this line is like an imaginary line it will disappear later on I'm going to draw this and I'm going to move this line up and I'm just going to type in one inch I'm getting the one from right here because this distance is one so I want this to be one Check, make sure it came out right. My next line up here is at two inches up. So I'm going to do the same thing. I can draw this line two inches up. I have another one at two and a half. And then I have a third one right here, the three and three quarters. Oops, I think I missed that. If you're ever in the middle of an operation and you need to get out of it, hit the escape key. This one comes three and three quarter. So I'm going to type in 3.75. All right, so now everything's looking right. I'm going to take my pencil tool and I'm going to draw an actual line. Remember how I said before, these dotted lines that you're seeing are they're construction lines imaginary they're not really there <clears throat> they're just there to help you find marks when you're all done you can go to edit delete guides and they'll go away the last part is how deep are these notches that are cut into this block I'll need to put some dimensions on there there's a half and that one's three quarters deep so I need to do the same thing I'll grab my push pull tool and I'm going to bring this down half, so 0.5. And this one, I'm going to bring down three quarters. I just want to show you something that's kind of neat. You can inference your push pull tool off of another surface, it automatically snaps it to half. Say you goofed and this is down here, and you need to reset it back up to the top. Just pull this up and move your mouse over here and inference it off that surface, and it's perfectly flat again. So I need to bring this down three quarters, so 0.75. Um, the only thing that's missing off of this would be my 
dimensions and the dimensions should come out to be the same as your other one so go ahead and give this a try uh, I'll leave this I want you to get this drawing up on your screen so you might need to refer back to this video a couple times in the process to get the dimensions um, and here's another really cool thing I want to show you is you can take and highlight an object and use the move tool to move it and if you tap the control key it makes a duplicate copy how cool is that so you don't ever have it once you have it drawn once you don't have to draw it again all right good luck with your drawing